The busy nightlife alone can easily take over your life. Sometimes you might even forget about the things you love to do back home. But finding those interests again can make life here a lot more interesting, as one expat has discovered. Evening Show reporter Michael Ree has that story. There's a sharpener over here.、Oh, yeah. It's Friday night in a small art studio in Myeongdong. The walls are covered with paintings of fruit, models, and landscapes, all done by students at one time or another. Mike Stewart sets up a chair and an easel in the middle of this room, in front of a group of students. He's about to teach a class on dry brush technique. He's been teaching at this school now for about two years, but just a little while before that, he couldn't have been further away from this world. Well, I was an art major in university, and.、Um, I've always been into it, and did illustration work and design work in Boston. But that all changed seven years ago when he decided to move to Korea to teach English. He said it was a way to pay off his student loans, so he started teaching as well as doing everything else Seoul has to offer. In the process, though, he stopped drawing. He says gradually he let go of his former life as an artist. The most I had done was、uh, make flashcards for my classes, and they were always the most amazing flashcards compared to the other teachers. And you know, I'm pretty good at drawing stuff on the board to explain. But that was all just sort of a part of my past, I guess. You know, I'll always be a good, you know, artist, but classroom artist. A few years went by, and drawing was becoming a part of Stewart's distant past. But then I was teaching a elementary school.、Uh, You know, academy. And on the way home one night, outside of a little restaurant, there was just an easel leaning up against the building. Someone had thrown it away. Like people in Korea tend to throw away all these amazing pieces of furniture. And I thought, yeah, I can put a, a poster on it or something like that. But then when I got it home, I said, you know, I have a lot of free time at night, and、uh, it wouldn't take much to, you know, rather than go out to the pub with my friends as often, stay home and work on a painting or something. And so I went and bought a set of acrylic paints, and、uh, that's sort of how I started. So you do wet the brush originally, just to—it's not really to mix with the paint; it's to protect the brush. If the brush is. Stewart's interest in art came back pretty quickly after he finished that first painting. Soon, he was spending fewer nights out at the bars with his friends and more time at home with his art. I did actually lose some friends because of it, because I got so, you know, into staying home and working on stuff for once, and、um, yeah, I sort of found a way to express myself. You kind of just give up who you are when you're just sitting in that pub with with beers. You just sort of complain about your job and stuff, but with a canvas or some art medium, you can express、uh, a little bit more deeper things that are in the back of your head that you're trying to work on. He says he got involved at an art school in Seoul and soon started teaching. Since then, he's had several exhibitions of his own work. He takes me to a gallery above the classroom to show me one of his pieces on display. It's a linoleum block、uh, that I produced for my last solo exhibition. It's a kind of a propaganda-style poster. It was about this sort of concept of life in a really hard. Uh, a hard world where everything was、uh, lacking convenience, and so a, a government pushing people to do things the hard way. Sometimes I try to gently criticize about those things, but、uh, these days I'm trying to be more gentle, I guess. Stewart says, aside from putting out his personal take on the world, he just likes putting his prints and illustrations on display so they're seen. Sometimes he says he does work for free, just as long as he can sign it. In the end, he says finding that joy in art again has changed his experience here in Korea for the better, and maybe that's payment enough. That was evening show reporter Michael Ree. Don't go away. Click click with Tina Shin. We'll be here to close.